the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. My name is Father Matthew Rawson. I'm the parochial vicar at Holy Cross Church in Duet. The Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. Aware that we are called to be disciples of the Lord, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you call us to follow the path of discipleship. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to walk with you on this journey of faith. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people to of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy, mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the, in the glory, glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord said to Elijah, You shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat, of Abel Mahola, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve oak of oxen, he was following the twelfth. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh, and he gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. 
So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For you were called for freedom, brothers and sisters, but do not use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you go on biting and devouring one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. I say then, live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to one another, so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the spirit, you are not under the law. My friends, the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call fire down from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord but first let me say farewell to my family at home. To him Jesus said, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what is left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Praise you, to you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today our readings speak about discipleship. We always have a choice with God. He is all about free will because he wants us to make our own decisions about whether or not to follow him. Therefore, we can choose to follow him or we can choose to ignore him. And there will always be that choice for us. But the thing is, Jesus wants us to love him. He wants us to be one with him. He wants us one day to be with him in paradise. And that whole idea is an idea born out of love. And we all know that you can't force someone to love you. You, uh, If you force them, then they will always be resentful of the fact that you force them. God gives us free will because he wants us to make our own decision. And that's why that freedom exists. So we can choose, just like the people in our readings chose. Elisha chose, and Paul chose, and so did the people that Jesus talked to. They chose to follow him, or they chose not to follow him. And the the point is that once we choose to follow him, then we are set 
we are done with decision making. Jesus tells us anyone who puts his hand to the plow and looks to what is left behind is not fit for the kingdom of God. And that's the point, that discipleship is not an easy thing to follow, that we are always called to follow Jesus, to live the law of love, but the world calls us to live a different law. The world causes, calls us to participate in the things that bring it down, jealousy, envy, all those different things that are negative emotions. And when it comes time, our love will be shown in one thing. Can we forgive those who have wronged us? Can we overlook the things that have been done to us? Can we, as Jesus did on the cross, can we say, forgive them, they know not what they do? Because that is the essence of discipleship. That is the most important aspect of love. We can go and we can feed the hungry, we can give drink to the thirsty, we can clothe the naked, but ultimately when it comes time to say no to our urges for jealousy, for anger, then that is where the love, the discipleship of Jesus is born out. That is where our decision is, has to be made and that's where if we put our hand to the plow we cannot turn back. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who, who proceeds, proceeds from the from Father and the Son, who with the Father Father and the Son is adored and glorified, and glorified. who has spoken, spoken through the prophets. I believe, I believe in one holy, holy Catholic, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess, I confess one baptism death death for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection, resurrection of the dead, the dead and the life, life of the world to come. come. Amen. Amen. Let us make our prayers of intercession as part of our pilgrimage of faith, following Christ to that eternal Jerusalem our promised inheritance. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For unity and peace within the Catholic Church on earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For true liberty among the different peoples and nations of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those who find it difficult to answer the call to discipleship, that their faith may, may be strengthened, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For ourselves, that we be given greater courage in following the path of discipleship, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the eternal salvation of all the faithful departed, especially Carl Williams, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, never let us look back on or hesitate as we journey toward the kingdom. May these prayers for others strengthen us in faith. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of your saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, 
on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, and your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you in your spirit. Let us offer each other this sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Lamb of Lamb God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a great week, everyone.